Hey guys, welcome back. Thank you for viewing once again. Today I just wanted to do a video on how to set up the Forerunner's jack and, how, and some tips on tire removal. So let's get started. As you know, the jack is located here on the driver's side access panel. Let's get, take that out. So in the bag of tools, we have four brown pieces and two silver pieces. The two silver pieces is what we'll be using to take the tire off. The brown pieces is what we construct to make the handle attached to the jack and also for removal of the um, spare tire underneath the, the Forerunner. I've shown you that on a separate video. You can check my channel on how to remove the spare tire. I'll try and link it uh, all best as I can. Okay, the first thing we have to do is to crack these nuts, lug nuts off so they're loose before we, we put it up in the air. But you can also remove the center cap. So that's why this other tool is what the, comes in the package. There's a slot on one end and there's two slots on the cap. One here, one there. Maybe different when you rotate the tire. So what you do, I'll show you a close up. There's a slot right here. This goes in here and it pries so you can pop that off. There's one on either side. So if one is stuck, you go on the other side. And now you can have access to that easily. You don't necessarily have to take this off, to take the tire off, but it makes it more easy to unscrew the, the, the nut I just wanted to show you where the slots are on the cap. One there. And this is where it goes in and it pries off. Like so. Two. We just put the lug wrench in. And now we can torque it counterclockwise. Sometimes these are very hard to come off. You may get lucky with a few, but some, one or two or three, may be really stuck. I'll give you some options on how to, uh, to deal with that if you run into that problem. So if you get some of it off and some are stuck, some options are, one, if you're fortunate to have something in your truck, like a pipe, uh, to extend the length of the handle, uh, that will be very helpful. So if you have this, you can always put a piece of pipe or something you have, slip it over. And then we can torque it like this. If not that, maybe a coupler. In this case, it's um, a pipe fitting. This can go over a little piece. And the other one we use to remove the cap, you can stick it in here to extend the handle. And you can torque it like this. If that doesn't work, there's another couple options. We can take this, turn it around, instead of now, up, turn this way, push down. So we have the ability now to step on this to step on this. So we can hold on to the rails on top of the forerunner, get on it and really put your weight on, on the wrench. Sometimes it helps to just bounce on it a little too to help crack that loose. Another way is we're going to use the jack. So we're just going to adjust it. We're going to try and get this as level to the ground as possible. You might have to get in and move the truck forward or back just to get this level to the ground. Once it's level, you can adjust the jack. Into the wrench. Make sure that seat's in good. Now, we can rotate 
rotate that. Okay, once we have cracked uh, the wheel, uh, wheel lug nuts off, it's time to position the jack. We're gonna do it on the front. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna put it on the frame rail. The frame rail. So we're gonna go as far as possible until we see this cross member here. We're gonna put it right here. Right there. As far as possible to the front wheel. Okay, we're gonna position the jack right here and adjust it so it's close to the frame before we put in the handle. For the rear, we could do the same as we did in the front on the frame rail, close to the to the tire. But there's another option we can do. Let me show you. Another option is to put it on the rear differential tube right here. And we just have to lift it up. That's the second option if you want to do that as opposed to doing it on the frame rail well guys i hope that can help someone of you out to know where it goes now and thanks for viewing and we'll see you on the next one